Hi, uh, Megan and Maisie. Uh, I'm Zelle from the upcoming. Uh, congratulations on this fantastic film. It's lovely to meet you both. Hello, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> if I could start with you, Megan, um, what was the kind of concept behind the story? And for those that haven't watched it, what is Mild Dance about? Um, but obviously, as a writer and director, where did that kind of start for you? So the movie's about an 18 year old girl named Elliot. She's from a small town in Canada. And she does mushrooms on her 18th birthday when she goes camping with her friends, kind of just expecting to have a good trip. And then she ends up meeting her 39-year-old self during this mushroom trip who gives her some advice about the future that she wasn't expecting, kind of sends her on a bit of a tailspin. And it's sort of about her kind of understanding this advice and figuring it out throughout the movie. But the really, like, it wasn't doing mushrooms or meeting my older, younger self that spawned this idea, but I was home in Canada where I'm from and it was during the pandemic and I just had my daughter and I was sort of just like feeling very nostalgic and thinking about time, which ended up being a conversation the scene later on with Chad and Elliot, yeah. weirdly, but that was really the first kind of jumping off point for wanting to explore this theme, but the other yeah, mushroom stuff came later in the process. And uh, Maisie, you play younger Elliot in this. Um, and the story is very much um, your journey as a teenager, stepping out into your own world. And it's very emotionally driven. It's a very emotionally driven character role for you. Um, when you read the script, did you feel kind of this immediate connection to her? And know you could play this role with a real kind of authenticity, which I think we really see with you. Yes. So just... I, that's like what made me cry. Yeah, I actually... <laughs> felt like the most connected. I was literally just saying like, it was my favorite script I'd read since her last script of <laughs> the fall <laughs> is the other one that I'd read. Um, she doesn't read a lot of scripts. I get, yeah, I don't get around much, but um, <laughs> I, I think more than anything, I felt so connected to Megan as a writer. Like I find her writing so layered and moving and this script was very layered and very moving. And, um, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm a pretty emotional person, but like, especially when we were filming, like it was really, I was having to like choke it down. Like I was like, it was really all sitting right here. I was very moved by it. That's what makes Maisie such an incredible actor to work with is she just can access these emotions so quickly and they're so genuine and so real. And you you say it like it's a bad thing, but it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> well, I think for like for this, the the concept of it was just like undeniably moving. I think anyone that was in my shoes would have also been like also would have felt that. But it did Sweet. absolutely like help, um, I think with the character arc uh, of Elliot was kind of, cause I, I really felt like I was like Elliot at the start um, of the movie, like when I was, I don't know, I, I, I felt like I related to a lot of it. Yeah, I think it really shows, it's very authentic. Thank you portrayal. so much. <laughs> so I'm thinking, obviously this pulls on so many heartstrings and uh, you need the perfect cast for this. So what was it about Aubrey uh, Plaza as an older and wiser Elliot? that kind of made you want her to come on board? And then what was it like watching their connection grow together to the younger Elliot? and older Elliot. Yeah, it was kind of like a tricky path to get to Aubrey only because we cast Maisie first, which was amazing because she's in every frame of the movie. And it was wonderful that we were allowed to do that because mm -hmm. a lot of times in this business, it's like, oh, you got to have to cast like the most famous person first and then kind of go backwards. Mm -hmm. um, not saying that you're most, not the most famous person. Um, I know that's, <laughs> well, it's a fact. I know that's so. extremely <laughs> important to you. So. Um, <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was really um, building the whole cast. We really chemistry read every character with with you for the yeah. most part, which was amazing so cool. to get to do that. Yeah, Aubrey was somebody who we initially didn't really think about only because physically she doesn't look anything like Maisie. <laughs> And then once we started just, we were so obsessed with like, okay, who looks the most like her? Who's got blonde hair? Like kind of all that stuff that ultimately doesn't really matter because it's about their chemistry. And they have such a similar, oddly similar energy. I couldn't mm. really explain it, but it was like this yin to each other's yang and it just worked. And so once we, she was really the only person who sent the script to at that point mm. and she loved it. And then you guys met and the chemistry was even better than we could have hoped for. And I just sort of wrote in jokes to excuse the fact that, you know, they don't look alike. And it's, it's a buy-in. We kept referencing movies like 13 going on 30 and Mrs. Doubtfire where there's sort of this crazy thing that happens but mm. because you're not you, like evaluating every little yeah thing yeah like the audience is either in or they're out and luckily it's it's worked I think and people are into it and their chemistry is so fun to watch and I'd rather watch two actors together who can have that back and forth and like two people who look exactly the same 100 percent yeah, you can see that. And amazing, obviously, for you, you know, how did you kind of form that duplicity with her? Your actions, your movements, you know, that's what 
that you see that's the key to the similarity between you yeah. not necessarily looks you know I mean, um and what was that like it was not typical, obviously, because I was already filming for two weeks when she came on and I was attached first, which like in a normal situation, it would be the other way around, like obviously. So like Aubrey not getting anymore. sent- Not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> no, yes, no, very much so. Um, Aubrey getting sent like my dailies and like my tattoos being put, you know I love this, my tattoos being put on Aubrey's body were all just like such a mind bend for me. I was like, what is actually happening? But I think, yeah, we we really did focus on, and I think because there was not a lot of external pressure on us to like have it be this perfect match that we're like undeniably the same person, um, we kind of just let it be a, an energetic thing and, and like a connection and so, it, nothing felt forced. We literally just met and it just happened that we really did like love each other and got along so well. And I learned so much from her and I, yeah, it, it being her was truly like one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I am so grateful that it was her. Yeah. And did that, did you kind of leave any room for improv in that, in between the characters as well? Because you definitely, you flow really authentically, really realistically in this. So Thank you so much. I mean, Megan is very encouraging, like in terms of um, improv and and having like I remember even before we started filming, you were like, "I'm gonna press record and like just like." And also, have when you fun. cast like, someone like Aubrey, it would be like a crime oh, to would, not at least give like, them the worst decision you've ever made to like not. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Aubrey can do anything. Like Maisie, she's such an you know actor with so much depth, but obviously she comes from that world of just being able to improv and come up with yeah. like hilarious shit on the spot. So I of so course good. was gonna lean into that and allow for that and but a lot of it is script like we would always do scripted takes and Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times Megan's writing sounds like improv like it it sounds like you're just talking um which is really nice but it's like honestly hard to tell when you're watching the movie like what is because there is some improv that's in the movie but yeah it's like also mostly it's like mostly scripted, but yeah you you always did a fun a fun run for sure and Aubrey is also like the perfect amount of loose canon Yes. You know, where she will just go with it. Like, yeah. she'll just kind of, and you will match her there. Yeah. Which is exciting. So it's like a director's dream. And obviously you've got this brilliant scene where you, you start dancing with Matty Ziegler, you know, <laughs> yeah. in her, and another pro dancer as well. Yes. So I think you did a really good job of matching them, to be fair. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel you like did. I've been preparing for that well before I knew I was supposed to be preparing for that. Like, yeah. I... I feel like I studied him on my own time. So, yeah. But the fact that you were able, like, you really do look as great of a dancer. Like, you put <laughs> that. so not was, true. You, you picked you that up with shocking ease. <laughs> Thanks, guys. They, we got in the studio and they, like, really, it was so fun, dude. Like, it was literally as fun as it sounds. We, like, had, like, a dance <laughs> studio with, like, the poles and, like, the mirror. And I was locked cool. in. Like, I was, yeah, I had my... Oof. I remember being like, I hope she's not nervous, you know, to like film the scene because I would be, God, you know, like singing and dancing. And she was like, not nervous at all. In her element. I came in and was like, who wants to see my dance? Who wants anybody want to watch before we finish? But you like killed so it. Excited. But it was like, you. I was like, it oh. It was so fun. I mean, I like, I feel like it would have been such a shame for me to have like, had feelings of like embarrassment or like, I don't want to go too all out. Like I was like, this is such a once in a lifetime (laughs) opportunity to get to do something this insane. So I really did just kind of go like, yeah, possible. I think you were like, let me know when there's only one or two takes left. Yeah, because you're like, <laughs> I need to like soak it in and really just like enjoy every just moment. Let me really feel it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for speaking to me. It's a fantastic film. Um, Thank you. I hope everyone enjoys it as much as me. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Bye.